All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking an over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of everything on this outrageously gorgeous summer day, <clears throat> it is a summer Sunday where we might actually, for the first time in August, hit uh, 80 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York. So that would be Sunday, August 6th, and... Uh, I'm going to come back with my full chronicle of the collapse with one of the single most spot-on articles I have ever read in, uh, good Lord, is, is one of the, the single best articles I have ever read in, I guess the mainstream media is Salon Magazine the mainstream media, it came to my attention on Yahoo News, right there in Yahoo News, spelling out why this planet is doomed, right there in the mainstream media. So before I go over there um, and look at that excellent article that is uh, a must-reading, I need to make a comment, <clears throat> just do a a short rant uh, because I have heard several comments from here in the Doomosphere, including one this morning. Uh, these comments are getting more common, uh, almost has it become a meme yet for where even Doomers are talking about the fear-mongering in the mainstream media about climate change, about the climate catastrophe and whatnot, this overblown uh, fear-mongering alarmism about uh, climate change, and it's getting to be so over the top, according to some people who are pushing back against the uh, climate alarmism turning more and more into book hermit. Uh, it's almost a meme. So anyway, I am just going to say a few words about this, and then we're going to go over to the mainstream media, if Salon Magazine is the mainstream media, and I think it is, uh, and give you a dose of reality in your face from the mainstream media today, hallelujah. Okay, do I believe the mainstream media is fear-mongering about climate change? There, there is no doubt in my mind that the mainstream media is fear-mongering about climate change. Uh, <laughs> okay. I am not denying this. Uh, so the reasons for it, so, so one thing, you know, about the mainstream media is so, it, it always implies when you hear these attacks on the mainstream fear stream media that because they are a bunch of liars, they, you know, saying that this fear mongering is a, is a pack of lies. So since the mainstream media uh, is a pack of lies, then the implication at least, <clears throat> and some people it's not just an implication, that the alternative media, <clears throat> which in, in this case would mostly include the right-wing uh, alternative media informed by, you know, those climatologists over there at the Heartland Institute and that gang that Alex Jones's opinion of climate change, if, if the mainstream media is, is, law, is overstating the case, that means that people claiming that climate change is a myth must be telling the truth. So <clears throat> this whole thing where 
if, if, if you think that the alternative media, with the possible exception of the tiny few media, and now including Salon Magazine, uh, you know, the Doomer media, uh, you know, is telling the truth. But outside of that little sliver over there uh, in the Netherlands of the bell curve, uh, anybody who thinks that because the mainstream media might be misstating something, that the alternative media can be believed. Uh, I, 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 you know, that, that, that's a level of cluelessness. Um, so this, you know, I, I, what was the quote that I just found recently that I really enjoyed? Is it the crisis is overblown or the, the threat is something like uh, the threat is overstated, but the trends are real. Uh, that sometimes the threat is overstated, but the trends are real. Uh, we have been hearing this. It, it, it's not like the vast majority of articles I read in the mainstream media, or at least the ones I tend to focus on are just some reporter pulling stuff out of uh, his wazoo, just reaching up and, and, and just spouting off uh, all of this stuff. They, they frequently, and a lot of what these mainstream media articles are, are a, a layman's interpretation of these peer-reviewed studies, and they have links to the scientific literature that the, you know, the mainstream media layman's audience. Uh, so a whole lot of it is based on those if you follow the links, which nobody does. And then, of course, the headline writers, you know, a headline writer, another name for a headline writer is a clickbaiter. That the, the, these people, their entire job is to look for the most sensationalist aspect of any story out there and highlight it so people will click on it. Uh, you know, the biggest, the most recent one is about the AMOC collapsing, uh, what, by 2025 or whatever uh, absurdity that was. And then they will link you over to the, you know, the scientific research. And, you, you know, it, it's not like this is brand new information, guys. Now, it is rather recent information in the mainstream media, but this news, and, and, and I'm, I'm not just talking climate change, although, of course, that's 95% of what they talk about. Uh, it, it, it's not like this information j just got here uh, this summer, the summer of 2023. Uh, it's been here, good God, going back, I was learning about the greenhouse effect in the Atlanta, Georgia public school system uh, in the mid-1960s. Uh, we have, we now have well over 50 years of uh, real-time data where we can look back and, and we can track all of this. Uh, it, 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 this isn't something that just appeared out of nowhere on the scene uh, like, I, I don't know, you know, like Corona panic blew up and within six weeks you had all of the, the, the stuff, you know, just wild conjecture. Uh, this, we, we, we have 50 years of evidence and every iota of the evidence 
is that what's going on on this planet is worse than previously predicted in whatever passed for fear-mongering, you know, 50 years ago. It is happening faster, and it's worse than previously expected. So the, the fear-mongering, uh, while it might be overstated, uh, in 2023, the trends are real. Uh, so there's just two more things I want to want to touch on. Is uh, you know somebody in the in a comment today uh, was was trying to compare climate change fear mongering to Corona panic fear mongering which it has nothing to do with each other on any level. And one of the main reasons uh, is that, you know, the corona panic stuff w w was all about humans. And <clears throat> as at least half of the climate change fear-mongering is about is about humans, but it's not all about humans. Uh, this this is not something that is uh, you know threatening to kill zero point two percent of the humans on this planet. Uh, climate change is uh, is we're 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 talking. Hundreds of uh, of levels of magnitude greater. We're not just talking about humans for once. That this is we're talking about obliterating entire ecosystems. We're talking about the sixth mass extinction. We're talking. We're not talking about zero point two percent. Uh, of a bunch of old, fat, sick people who should have already been dead, dying from something. We, we, we are talking uh, 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 about the death of the biosphere, and uh, of which climate change, one more time, uh, is one little factor, and this, the biosphere... Uh, would be going down the toilet with no help from climate change. Blah, blah, blah. I've had this rant a hundred times. J just wanted, wanted to mention that little difference that the fear-mongering uh, it, it is backed up by 50 years of science. We have uh, hard-line, real-time data historical trends that are easy to map out uh, going off the chart. This isn't some invention by some reporter. Okay, we, we, we have volumes and volumes uh, of, of evidence. And um, so now I just want to briefly touch on one, one comment that, that I know you've heard versions of this, that because a lot of people, and especially the, these giant multinational corporations, these giant energy corporations, are going to make a boatload of money off of uh, the, 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 this fear-mongering, that this fear-mongering uh, is going to make a lot of people, including Al Gore and Bill Gates, very rich men, and more importantly, these giant planet-eating multinational corporations are going to be laughing all the way to the banksters behind it all. It, it certainly... Uh, if anybody can sit here and, and, and deny that these planet eaters uh, are, are not taking full advantage of the fear-mongering and that it's 100% in their advantage 
to ramp up the fear mongering. Uh, that uh, while I uh, agree uh, with this uh, this no shit Sherlock assessment uh, of that, that in no way, shape, or form means that the information they are using to stir up this money generating you know mother load for these planet eaters isn't based on fact because they're using it to their advantage so because some rich son of a bitch is going to get richer uh that means the information is fake. The, the, this, the, 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 there's some logical fallacy or illogical fallacy. I can't uh, remember the name of. So the science is real and some rich people are taking advantage of the real science to push their agenda to make more money out of the science, that means that the science is not real because planet-eating rich people are going to make money off of the fear-mongering. There, 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 there is no connection between the, the two propositions and the conclusion. They, they all, uh, the, the two propositions are both true. They stand alone, and it does not lead to any conclusion that uh, it, it's not real. And, uh, of course, I always get back to the same place where, where this is all going to is it, the, the big lie in, in the mainstream media. Although I'm even starting to see cracks in that, as like this Salon article I'm doing today, of course, is the bullshit solutions that the mainstream media uh, is promoting that is going to make all of these rich guys like Al Gore and Bill Gates and uh, all of these giant energy corporations and a lot of other people uh, a, 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 a hell of a lot of money are these fake solutions that they state the problem clearly and succinctly that this planet is doomed, but then they try to pull some rabbit out of their hat that throwing up a few, you know, solar panels and windmills and, and switching over to electric vehicles is going to turn this freight train around at this point. Uh, and, and do a damn thing to, to save this planet. It, 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 is, it is the single biggest lie of the 21st century. It, it, it's a close cousin, pretty much a twin sister of uh, the lie you cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet. It's just a way to tweak a few little things so we can go right on about our business of having infinite growth on a finite planet. We just call it green growth. Uh, infinite growth on a finite planet is impossible. I don't give a shit what color the growth is. Cancer is cancer. Growth for growth's sake. Growth's sake is the ideology of the cancer cell, as Edward Abbey said. And we're getting ready to talk about from this Salon article. You know, I, I heard this. I don't know. Did you catch this unadulterated horseshit on NPR? Uh, by any chance, that long interview with Michael Mann uh, yesterday on, on NPR, you know, Michael Mann, the absolute darling uh, of these clueless moron, little greeny lefties 
uh, epitomized uh, by NPR, where Michael Mann comes out and states uh, quite clearly and unambiguously that this planet is doomed if we don't change course. And then he acts like his definition of changing course is to throw up a bunch of uh, solar panels and windmills. Uh, it, it, it is the solutions that are the big, fat, bright green lie on the mainstream media. It's just uh, out with the old boss. Uh, what is it? New boss, same as the old boss, but it's not out with the old boss. It's the, the, the old boss, the, these giant uh, energy corporations are just changing their color like these chameleons that they are, and uh, they're not even abandoning the, their old colors. Uh, they're, they're just adding a new stripe of color. Uh, this is the fundamental lie of the mainstream media. While some of the alarmism uh, is a little bit overblown, the panic is overstated, but the trends are very real. And you come back in a few years, and the panic sure as shit ain't going to be uh, overstated. Uh, as these trends uh, continue, these faster and worse than previously thought trends continue. Uh, so while, while, while that is true, it's uh, the, the big fat lie uh, it, it is this uh, push by the mainstream media to parrot this bullshit this unadulterated horse shit uh, that these little greeny lefties are just lapping up so they can go right on about their business of doing what humans do, and that is being a, a cancer uh, on this planet. I'm going to wrap uh, this little amplification and clarification up here because we need to get over to Salon Magazine. I'll make it a separate video, obviously. We need to get over to Salon Magazine and attend to the single most spot-on analysis of what is going on on this planet that... I might have ever read in my life right here on a beautiful summer Sunday in 2023 uh, 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 about why this planet is doomed. Coming up in one minute. My guys.